Worry is a sneaky force that controls people of all ages and permeates our contemporary society. It exacerbates fears and preys on uncertainties, resulting in a never-ending struggle with frustration, depression, and terror. It leaves behind unexplored avenues and unrealized destinies, taking a heartbreaking toll. To embrace a life of serenity and hope, it is essential to recognize and release oneself from the damaging hold of worry. Retracing your steps back to God is the beacon of light someone needs in a world where the chatter of concern drowns out whispers of hope. Is that your sole course of action? Only He is able to deliver you from this storm. You have the potential to command this mountain of anxiety, tension, and depression to move by accepting the supernatural authority put upon you, and they will comply. Why? Because He has empowered you to overcome demonic forces, powers, and principalities. Luke 10.19 states, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. However, it's crucial to remember that God never makes a life without stress or difficulty a promise in the Bible. In reality, the Bible repeatedly points out that individuals who follow Christ and believe in Him will face difficulties and persecution. According to verse 12 of chapter 3 of the book of 2 Timothy, in fact, everyone who wants to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. Have you ever wondered, why do bad things happen to good people? Yes, I have before caught myself asking that. If you look around, it seems that the wicked people are doing just fine, while the decent people are having a difficult time. They are doing well right now. Their businesses seem to be doing well, their marriages appear to be going well, and their children appear to be alive and well. Despite the fact that everyone is aware of their depravity, their lives appear to be ideal. On the one hand, there is a guy who loves God and does good in his community. He is so passionate about the things of God, visits the sick and the weak, shares the gospel with his neighbors, and prays for them. He always stands by to support others, giving what he can. Although qualified, this person can have trouble finding employment. The mortgage payments for the same person can be difficult. The same person could experience marital difficulties, it's possible that the same person is the one whose life is constantly plagued by problems. Now pay attention, my beloved. I'm not bringing these things up to make you start to doubt God or your religion. I'm pointing it out to you so you'll understand that these things are happening to other people, not just you. In chapter 34, verse 19 of the book of Psalms, it is said, The righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. In essence, the purpose of our tribulations is to shape us into vessels that are prepared to serve and exalt the Lord, not to break us. Even the most upright people can be tried, but those who maintain their faith will be accepted by God, as illustrated by the narrative of Job. We can see past the current storm and maintain our focus on the everlasting promise when we realize that our difficulties do not signify God's desertion, but rather are part of the human experience. As you face the challenges ahead, take heart in the words of Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 6, which says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of the trials or challenges. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. One of the biggest causes of worry for the believer is arriving at the negative conclusion that something is wrong with you or you are doing something wrong, and so God is punishing you for it. It is true that sometimes a person can give the enemy an opportunity to come into his or her life to wreak havoc. Still, this is not always the case, and even if it is, you are not hopeless at all. The Bible does say that situations that are like fire will arise in your life, situations that leave people burned out, situations that consume everything in and around the lives of people and leave them with nothing. It also talks about situations that are like water too, these are situations where you feel like you're drowning and can't take it anymore. They overwhelm you from every angle, sapping your strength. The more you struggle, the deeper you seem to sink, leaving you feeling drained and lacking motivation. Whether you are going through fire or you are going through water right now, worry no more. Here is God telling you that He will always stand with you. God will always stand with you. Why? 
because he has everything under control, including the worst of everything. His promise to us, as written in the book of Isaiah, chapter 43, verse 2, is that when you pass through the waters, he will be with you, and when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. This scripture echoes his ceaseless commitment to us in times of difficulty. Remember that God's vision is far-reaching, beyond what we can see in our current predicament. He sees the full picture of our lives, while we only see a part. It's like trying to understand the whole story by reading one page of a book. Therefore, when you're caught in the currents of life or feel scorched by the flames of hardship, remember to surrender your worries to God. His love and mercy are constant, and He uses every situation, even the most painful ones, to draw us closer to Him. From the day you became a child of God through faith in Jesus Christ, His Son, you became a member of God's family, and thus you became God's responsibility. From that day, your business became God's business. Your finances became God's finances. Your education became His responsibility. Your health became His care. In fact, everything about you became His. And here is what He says about anything that may think about touching you. The book of Zechariah, chapter 2, verse 8 says, For thus saith the Lord of hosts, after the glorious one has sent me against the nations that have plundered you, for whoever touches you touches the apple of his eye. Dear beloved, this is God. It says that you are the apple of his eye. You have become that special to him. So God says that you are special to him. You are his responsibility. He is your father. Also, he has said that being his child won't mean that days of trouble won't come. However, being his child means that when the troubles come, you won't go through them alone. Look, there is nothing positive about worry. It's okay for a person to put their minds to work, think things through, weigh the pros and cons. However, to let this thinking get to the point where it steals away your peace and your joy means you have stepped from mere mind exercise into worry. You must understand that worry is a waste and a destroyer. There's a saying that goes, worry keeps you busy but gets you nowhere. A very true statement. So why then are you worried, dear beloved? Why are you panicking when your God is on your side? Beloved, I encourage you to reflect on the promises God has made to you. Recall the countless times in the past when you were troubled and it seemed like there was no way out. Remember how God saw you through those times and brought you into a place of peace and victory. Fear and worry have a way of narrowing our viewpoints, causing us to concentrate on the issue rather than the solution. As a child of God, it's imperative to overcome these feelings, not by our own strength, but through our confidence in God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, the Apostle Paul wrote in Philippians chapter 4, verse 7, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. God is with you and is always prepared to deliver you from the stress and worry that the devil has trapped you in. Verse 1 to 3 of Psalm 46, chapter 46 remind us that God is our strength and refuge and an ever-present source of assistance in times of need. Therefore, even if the earth gives way and the mountains drop into the sea, we won't be afraid. Believe in this reality, dear. Cast all your worries on Him, for He cares for you. 1 Peter 5, 7 In the name of Jesus, worry and terror are not to be your lot. I adore what Jesus said to His disciples when He saw that they had become dejected and had started to worry about his departure. I have told you these things so that you may have peace in me, Jesus says in John chapter 16, verse 33. You will face challenges in this world, but have courage. I have already conquered it. Jesus offered us the reassurance that despite the challenges we experience in this life, we have peace in him because he understood our human tendency to worry. Because of our confidence in him, we have already triumphed over the world, Give all to God your reassurance and support.